Greetings, thanks for tuning in. This is River Ponics, and we're gonna show you the mechanics of our patented compost brewer and how it works. Uh, the brewer sits over a reservoir in a closed loop fashion, so you can increase the amount of tea you brew in one setting. All right, so we have a removable lid, all the parts and pieces to the brewer, there are no glued fittings. This is your airlift chamber. This is removable, all parts and pieces. And then you have a filter housed in the brewer, which is removable. And this is the compost wand. This compost wand is attached to a submersible pump housed in the reservoir. This is a control valve to control the amount of fluid that flows back into the brewer. The brewer then will dispense it through the filtering system and ultimately out of the um, dispensing spigot there. That's a control valve that controls the amount of fluid that actually comes out of the brewer to the reservoir. These pieces here were both feeding the grow system so you can see it's just all quick connect stuff I have. So what you would do with this instance, I have a T there right now, you would put that cross in there in its place of the T and then you can adjoin your tubes here that go out to these growing systems in the tent enclosure. All right, so then you have your overflow protection. This device prevents your brewer from overflowing. This actually controls the submersible pump that is housed in the reservoir. In the back wall here, you can see this is the piggyback connection of the um, overflow protection, and this is where your pump plugs into the back of that. So I can turn this on and kind of demonstrate how this works. We've got it running. I got the valve shut off now, so there's no water dispensing out of here. I'll turn that on. Get water flowing. We'll fill this up and show you how the overflow protection works. Anytime now, there we go. Time perfectly. Well, that's how that works, okay? So there's only two components. You got the air pump and the submersible pump and the two combined is pulling at one half of an amp. So it's really efficient, okay? So now I'm gonna dispense out of the brewer, uh, out of the uh, dispensing spigot there. And here, like I said, here's your control valve. Turn that, and there you go. Now you just form your closed loop with your reservoir and your brewer. Now some people ask, why do I have the air tube ran like that? And that is because if you had a power outage and this tube was below your water line, that water would back feed into your air pump and ruin it. So that's why I have it ran up above the water line to prevent any damage from my air pump from an unforeseen power outage. So that kind of shows you the versatility of what you can do. Um, also, what's nice with the brewer and its method of use, being able to you know, tie it to grow systems and things like that, is um, you can get real creative with the chemistry of your nutrients. So you can do a combination of things in here, all, all different types of tea tinctures these days, um, kibashi tea tinctures, seed sprout tea tinctures, all different kinds of stuff that you can be implemented. You can use um, slow release nutrients and uh, water soluble stuff. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot of products on the market these days that you can get real creative with your nutrients. And that's what's uh, very advantage as far as the, uh, the patented brewer here. Same retails for $2.99. It's a really good price for what it can do. My website is riverponics.com. Uh, please visit and uh, subscribe to my video. Appreciate you watching. Thank you.